Just gives a little hint of that flavor. All right, and uh, what's really cool about, you know, doing it this way is now we can add any type of effect in between the operator and the corpus. So we can add like a uh, frequency shifter. Um, let's so uh, let's try some of that right now. Put the dry wet to about half so we can make sure we hear that phasey sound. Just modulate the fine. Then maybe add a corpus, uh, sorry, not a corpus, but a chorus after the corpus. So a chorus after the corpus. And as you see, as I'm doing here, I'm just kind of playing with this last operator here, just trying different like higher harmonics. And uh, this will be the one I'm going to throw in, you know, momentary. It's kind of automated in there just to kind of fill out some of the higher harmonics just for a second. Another cool little effect you can try with this is uh, going to the uh, LFO here. And uh, by default, it's uh, hooked up to all the pitches of the operators here. So you can actually just kind of stick with that. That's a really weird one to start out with. When you try it with very slight amounts, it creates this kind of uh, almost vibrato-like sound or just analog detune, which is kind of cool. So that one, that's a cool effect. You can also try just going onto the filter here. So I turned off all the destinations for the pitch of the oscillators and directed it to the filter. Turn up the amount of the LFO all the way just to be able to really hear it. Change the waveform to something, maybe like a triangle for the moment, and then sync it. So pretty cool effect. Um, another thing you could put on top of that is uh, just go and modulate the volume as well. It's always a cool effect. <laughs> Has more of a you know noticeable effect on the drawn out notes over here. All these kind of penciled in notes, uh, they have more effect just on the retrigger of the actual notes. So that's where you hear more of this envelope and uh, the pitch envelope here. <laughs> So that's, that's some cool stuff to try. Let's turn off all this. So that's what we started with. Technically, that's what we started with. So that's my tip.
So uh, try it out. Try out Corpus over the sidechain to MIDI, and uh, you'll be good to go. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool, and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me, and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.